Fat Burn Secrets, 7 Major Fat Pumping Food Categories to Avoid Everyone loves a cheat meal or an overindulgence of food from time to time, after all, we are human. Some of the best tasting food are actually some of the worst in terms of fat and calories. But don't worry. You don't have to resort to living like Tom Hanks in Castaway. There are plenty of food that you can turn to that taste amazing and won't jeopardize your well-being. It's about learning why certain food are bad, so you can make better choices on a day-to-day -day basis. Watch this video and get to know more about the first of the seven major fat pumping food categories to avoid. The other six categories will follow in the next videos. So stay tuned. And if you watch it till the end, you will get a special gift. That being said, here are some dietary landmines to watch out for and step around. Fat Pumping Food Category 1. Trans Fat. Hydrogenated oil as the main dietary source of trans fat. A new study published in the journal Preventing Chronic Disease revealed that 84% of packaged food that listed 0 grams trans fat on their Nutrition Facts label still had partially hydrogenated oil in the ingredient list. Current laws allow companies to round down fewer than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving to zero. The good news? The amount of trans fat we eat has dropped in the past 30 years. According to a recent study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association, men are consuming 32% less trans fat, and women 35% less, than they were in 1980. Still, 1.9% of men's daily calories and 1.7% of women's daily calories come from trans fat today. The American Heart Association recommends limiting trans fats to no more than 1% of total calories consumed. Even a few daily grams of these fats increase bad cholesterol, decrease good cholesterol, and clog arteries. Harvard researchers estimate that trans fats cause up to 228,000 cases of heart disease and 50,000 deaths annually. Since 2 grams is the most you should have in a day. Allowing food with 0.5 gram or less to call themselves trans fat free is a real problem. You're best off avoiding trans fat containing food completely. But which are the foods with trans fat? Non-Dairy Coffee Creamer Half a gram of trans fat in creamer can quickly turn into multiple. Since consumers tend to use more than the serving size of a teaspoon per cup. The typical American coffee drinker guzzles an average of three cups per day. On many zero trans fat labels, you can find partially hydrogenated oils as the second or third ingredient listed. Peanut Butter some companies use partially hydrogenated oils to achieve a long shelf life and creamy texture, so check the label. To be safe, opt for the natural variety. Although it's chunkier, it's also healthier and normally made with just salt and peanuts, not oils loaded with trans fat. Frozen Pizza Trans fat sneaks into the dough of many frozen pizzas, with about 0.3 grams in just one slice. One solution? Make your own pie at home. Microwave popcorn. It's your Friday night movie staple, but microwavable popcorn puts the spotlight on trans fats. The true culprits are toppings, butter flavoring can include 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving while caramel flavoring can contain as many as 1.5 grams. Some extra buttery varieties can have up to 15 grams of trans fat per bag, which is all too easy to inhale in one sitting. Stay away from the microwave popcorn, says Napoli. Just do the old-fashioned air pop or use an actual oil to pop the kernels in. 
Packaged cookies. Even some of our beloved ones may sneak some trans fat in. Despite a label that says, trans fat free. You may be able to justify those because they only happen a few times per year. But check to see if your favorite store bought cookies which are made with partially hydrogenated cooking oils. Chances are they are including such cookies. Although some brands like Oreos now use high oleic oils instead. So they can provide shelf-stable cookies at a reasonable cost. Margarine. Margarine consumption boomed during the butter shortages of World War II, with even Eleanor Roosevelt promoting it as her toast topping of choice. But it's a recipe for trans fat overload. To create that creamy spread, liquid vegetable oils are blasted with hydrogen. The more solid the margarine, the more it's been hydrogenated. Many labels claim to have zero grams of trans fat. But if the label lists partially hydrogenated oils, those small amounts of trans fat can add up when you slather margarine on your food. So this was the first of the seven major fat pumping food category to avoid. You will know the rest six major categories in the videos which will follow. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Here is your gift for today. In the description of this video you may grab our ebook. It's totally free. Just get it. Have a great day, a good health and a happy life.